<laughs> oh, my face back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two videos a day is going to be starting up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you too. What's good, everybody? Effects here. And today we're back with another video. Now, today we're going to be going over my little defensive scheme or one of my defensive schemes i have a defensive scheme at a um 335 and dollar i'll be going over my defense scheme at a 335 also i have a nickel normal one that uh people have been talking about how a couple people been running nickel normal on stream uh it's kind of similar to last year just a little bit different so i'll go over that it's a decent five man pressure i don't like sending four this year personally you won't see me in a four down lineman set this year unless i'm sending five like the best thing to send this year is three five or like if you send in the house like six but I, I personally don't like sending four this year it's okay but it's not i'm not a fan of it um so i like to adjust out of three three d lineman sets um three down lineman sets so first off we're going to be going over nickel three three five normal now if you guys remember last year you go check my channel last year in august i don't know why my camera keeps blurring and is doing that all the time lately but last year i did a video in august about three three five um and this was before the meta, before all of that. This was last year. You guys can go check yourself. And I was talking about how it's one of the simplest defenses is to defenses to run. So now people have been asking me, man, I can't. Ha I don't got no D and sh and stuff like that. So we, you guys got some D for me? Pause. 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 <laughs> but uh, I'm like, I got y'all right. I'm gonna go over a pass D. You know what I'm saying? That's good against bunch. Now run D. I'm I'm going over three four bear part two for run D tonight. Um, but if this is not three three five is not a run D now it can do well against the run right you know what I'm saying if you set it up properly it does well against inside zone and stuff like that but it's not a run defense like that's that's what I that's what I want to let you guys know it's not a run defense but it does do well against the run but we're just basically gonna go over like common bunch setups how to stop it so first I'll show you guys I like to come out and cover three drop um, basically like versus bunch. If, if I know I'm going to be going versus a, a decent bunch, you can come out and cover three bunch. The audibles is going to be cover two man, cover two, uh, Tampa two, and then cover three drop. This is, these are the three plays that I run. I use cover two to stop the run, uh, and I use, um, well, to contain the run. You're not really going to be, like, blowing it up in backfield every time unless it's, like, inside zone. It's pretty easy to blow up inside zone this year. Um... Well, every year, but not not as not as easy as last year, but it still is pretty easy. Um, but to con to contain the run, make sure you have your auto flip on. Um, this is for the pass. So basically, you're gonna come out like this, right? Your defense, your defense is gonna be auto flip. So the guy is gonna be over here, the, the flat defender, right? You want to shade underneath, and then shade over the top. So basically, it's gonna be cloud flats, right? You want to have the cloud flat on the on that on the bunch side to prevent the corner routes. You'll give up the flat route from the tight end and let him take his four yards if that's what he's going to take his read on. But what you're going to be looking for, you're going to adjust this this hook this uh, flat defender. We're going to adjust this flat defender into a hook curl, right? We're going to put that flat defender into a hook curl. I forgot to explain personnel, so I'll explain it really quickly. Personnel is basically your best pass rushers and your best safeties in the box. This is going to stop the run, and this is going to make it so they're manning up. Your outside guys are mainly going to be just, um, they're going to be, you want them to be good as well, but it doesn't, it's not a necessity for them to be the greatest. So you're going to want to put your outside guys in outside quarters. Now, the outside guy on the bunch side, I'd leave in a deep half so you don't get covered three beatered. So I'd leave that guy in a deep half. I'll show you how to put that in the deep half. So what you're going to do is you're going to press Y, Y, B, and then right on the right stick. That's going to keep him in a deep half. To put the left guy in the outside quarter, you're going to press X. You're going to Y, Y, quick adjust, X, and then left on the right stick. And that's going to keep him in the outside quarter. You're going to keep that guy in a hook curl, the safety, by Y, Y, and then down on the left stick to put that, that safety in a hook curl. You're going to man up X onto the outside B receiver. Cross man the inside linebacker or the inside safety on, a, on the B receiver. Cross man the A receiver onto the X receiver. And that's that's how you're going to set that up. And your job, right, you're basically going to man yourself up, right, onto the RB receiver. Now, if the, you see that RB receiver, right, so that's how it's going to be. So let me show you guys the setup on offense that's going to be a, a common setup, right? Common setup will be block the running back, flat route this guy, post route. 
I mean, corner route on the inside receiver and post route that guy. And then they want to motion. They're gonna motion over the the Philip Dorsett and then hike him in motion, right? That's what that's what's gonna be the common mesh post. It's gonna be uh like the mesh post setup basically. The common mesh post setup. That's what it's gonna be, right? So in bunch, that's gonna be the mesh post setup. They also have a stick setup and they also have other things that they can set up. But that's gonna be the common setup that you're gonna get probably for the majority of the plays. This is gonna be your defensive alignment, right? This is what what's gonna what you're gonna do. Also, now that's that that's the back side of coverage. Now people are gonna say, yeah, I know it's gonna it's it's gonna take a little time for you to get practice to to do this really fast. You know what I'm saying? But let me show you this is how the whole defense. And then if you have time, spread your D line, crash the D line up, and guess the pass. Always guess the pass, even on run D. Guess the pass. Yes, it, it seems so weird, but it's like something about guess pass this year that just makes it so glitchy. But that's how you're going to do it. So now your D linemen are basically going to be getting one on ones and they're going to be attacking the outside. So they're going to get better animations to pass rush. Now you're sending three. So you're going to get it's like a bonus pass rush when you send three. That's why if you notice if you send four this year, you don't get pressure, but you send three and you get more pressure and certain dollar sets and stuff like that. So this is for like more advanced, right? This is like a little more advanced setup to prevent a lot of stuff. So you basically get to manually man yourself up on RB so you know that okay rb is there now the first the first thing that they're gonna have open is the flat route if they see as soon as they hike the ball they're probably gonna look at the flat route and that's what that's usually what they're gonna do and then they're gonna see like all the guys moving and go into the and cross man and that they're gonna probably take the flat route they could take that flat route for a three to anywhere from three to seven yards depending on their animation right you're gonna give that this is a bend don't break defense right you're, you're gonna you're gonna give that that's what you want to give with this defense bend don't break let them take their flat route and continue just hit sticking them you got you want somebody beefy right here like just continue hit sticking them, 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 hit sticking them. That's what you. That's your philosophy, right? That RB guy, right? If you see him starting to break on a on a on a streak route, then you know you have defenders here or foot fade. You know you have defenders here. If you see him start to break on like a a straight, and if he's going anywhere straight, then you know you don't really have to guard him. You can go guard something else. You know what I'm saying? If he's going, if he's attacking you. Like the middle of the field, like a slant or a drag, you know that's your your job because you you're not manned up on him. This guy's not in a flat; he's in a hook curl. So if he's on like a drag, then you know you need to go guard that. But if he's on a streak or a corner route, then you know you don't have to guard that. So first things first, you're gonna you're gonna basically look to see where what the, what's gonna do. So they hike the ball. You look, okay, he's on a streak. Okay, I can guard something else. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what you're, and you see how fast the pressure got there. But that's how you wanna, that's how you wanna kind of set up this defense. So let me show you guys how to set it up fast, right? So let's say they hike the ball, shade underneath, shade underneath, shade over the top. Put that guy in a hook curl, man that guy up, man that guy up right there, and that's pretty much it. Put that guy in a deep path, and that's your setup. Now you set, now you do the extra stuff, which is the the guest pass. You do the extra stuff, which is the guest pass and the and the, um and the slant outside. That's extra. If you don't have time, then you can't do that. And then. You can either manu manu manually uh, put yourself on RB so you know where to go, or you can just watch RB. So now let me show you guys something different. Let's say now let's say they they see okay he, he let me let me give him a different look because if somebody sees you doing all this cross man adjustments, let me give him a different look. Let me put this guy on a post, and then let me put this guy on a corner right, and then let me put the tight end because the tight end I know the tight end is, isn't manned up. Let me put the tight end on the street just to you know what I'm saying because that's what the good players are gonna do. They're gonna be like, okay, this guy's adjusting too much. He probably doesn't have flat. Def he probably doesn't have like a, a deep third or something like that. Maybe they couldn't read you properly. And then so now you know that you're gonna have to basically watch out for the same thing, right? You don't know what their play is gonna be doing, but you're gonna have to watch out for the same thing. Okay, they hike the ball. Okay, where am I going? Okay, Edelman just attacked me. Follow Edelman. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what you want to do. And the pass rush is gonna get there. Everything is manned up and stuff like that. Look at Tom Brady just shrug off the pass rush. Did you see what he just did? And look at look at that. That just took that's way too much time right there. But look at like Tom Brady literally just got pass rush and just shrugged um, Joey Bosa off. I think that was Melvin Ingram or Joey Bosa. But that's actually hilarious. But just just like you you gotta like know like you gotta watch out to, for what you're doing. Like if I man this guy up, if I man this guy up, right? What what the, what the two routes they have? That means they have the tight end route, and then they have a they have a tight end route, and they have the the RB route that I'm looking for. Now, some people are gonna see you're doing this and see you're only sending three, right? Only sending three, and you're doing this. All right, so now they might send they might send the running back on a streak, right? They might send the running back on a streak or the running back on an out route to just try to you know what I'm saying get something going for for themselves. 
and that's okay we play in bend don't break you know what i'm saying like if we have to adjust to that then we'll we'll eventually adjust to that but we're playing bend don't break defense and bend don't break defense we you know what i'm saying that's we we're, we're adjusting right so let me show you guys uh the other common setup we'll put this guy we'll keep this right there and we'll show you guys let me show you guys this um what am i doing cross man that put this guy in a hook curl the reason why you want this guy in a hook curl is for the post route if the post route comes across, you want him to play that. So, like, so, so that's why you keep that guy in a hook curl. You keep that guy on a deep half, or if they try to do a cover three beater. If they try to do a cover three beater, this guy should play that. And, yeah, so make sure you guess the pass every play. Now they're going to motion out Philip Dorsett. Let me just, let me get on. Let me, let me assume that I'm manning myself up to RB, right? And let me try to make a read now. I'm assuming I'm manning this guy up to RB, which is the user. And I'm going to try to make a read. They're going to motion out Philip Dorsett. And let's say, okay, okay, okay. I do have that wide open. I do have. Now, you see how that's a tight throw? I'm making that throw because I can read what's open. You know what I'm saying? Before, like, somebody on, like, regs or, like, mutt head-to-head -head or weekend league, they probably not going to, you know what I'm saying? Unless they good. You know what I'm saying? They, there's some people that are good. They probably might not be like, oh, that's open. And they can make that tight window throw. That's a tight window throw. Like, I am I know, like, all right, the corner route on the break with a good route runner, I might have a window to, to throw that. So I know personally that I can make that throw. Let me show that again, right? So shade underneath, shade over the top, hook curl, man, man, and then deep half. Yep. That's perfect, right? Yep. That is perfect. Just make sure that let me man that guy up to that. Spread. Crash up, pass. And let me show you guys another, the same setup, right? Same setup. And this is how to defend bunch as well. So same setup. Boom. Okay, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Ooh, can I do that? Nope, that hook curl guarded the, the post route. See what that hook curl is doing is guarding the post route. Now, what is going to be wide open in here though? Like let's say if you're on offense and somebody's doing something to you, right? If, if you're on offense and somebody's doing this to you, you, ha you can also put that running back on the wheel because you see that guy's that guy is this guy right here is not coming down to play the flat. So you see he's playing the hook curl, right? So since he's playing the hook curl, he's going to be able to make a play on the running back, but not immediately if, if you put the running back on like a little wheel route, right? So if I put the running back on a wheel route, I can throw the running back if I'm on offense, right? And I will. I, I know I need a five route because he doesn't have enough people to, to man up to five routes. So I need a five route, right? Boom. Take that guy up. Take that up the field. I would have got at least 10 yards off of that. So you got to just, you know what I'm saying? And then when they start doing chess matches like that, when they start battling you and, and playing chess matches with you, that's when you're getting into a good Madden game. That's what you call a hell game. When people are starting to play chess matches with you and they're like, and they see you doing stuff like that. And then, you know what I'm saying? They see you doing stuff like that. So you know what I'll do? All right. He, he's putting his running back on the route now. All right. Let me put this guy on on the, the running back right so now i put that guy on the running back he i'm countering like okay i know he gonna he just saw me do put that running back on a wheel right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna block my running back so now i'm gonna block my running back so now that guy that's he probably gonna man that guy up to me since i blocked the running back now that guy's gonna come down this guy that guy is gonna come down and play a spy because when you block the running back and you man it up he's gonna play a spy so he's gonna play a spy or he's gonna blitz right and since that's going to happen, then that post route from Philip Dorsett should be wide open because that was the same route that, you know what I'm saying? That was the same route that wasn't open because that guy was there. But that's, you know what I'm saying? So you, you do that. Okay. I don't know what he just did right there. He just backed up because he was manned up on a running back. So I guess he decided to go play another zone, whatever it was. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's when it becomes a chess match. But that's 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 pass defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's going to be a chess match. Now, to save you guys from all these adjustments, what... I do sometimes come out in a lot of the times is cover two man. Cover two man is really good. So what you're going to do, right, is you're going to shade over the top. Press Y and up on the right stick. Always shade over the top, right? Shade over the top. And a common thing versus cover two man is going to be pass verts. Now let me show you guys. Let me actually redo the play so I don't have to keep switching the play every single time. The common setup, is, if somebody sees you on man coverage, they're going to run pass verts. Always. That's that. I mean, not not pads verse. They're gonna run verticals out of West Coast or whatever, whatever um, bunch formation they are in. So they're gonna run verticals. That's like where they're gonna run like man beaters. So what you're gonna do, right? If you see somebody come out in in bunch, right? And this is usually a block the running back setup. Uh, 
because you're sending three they don't they don't have to actually block the running back remember that because usually man blitzes cover zero would be like heavy they don't have to block the running back so they can put the running back on a route so for the sake of this we'll put the running back on a route right a wheel route a man beater route so what you're gonna do this is less adjustment so you're gonna use it the guy that's blitzing right use it the guy that's blitzing right or you use it this guy right here the guy towards the the guy towards you leave this guy over here on a deep path right because you know that on the bunch side you're going to be getting verticals right you're going to be getting verticals on you're going to get be getting verticals from this guy right he's going to do, be on that wheel route you just know that like you got to understand that you know that and not because i'm seeing the play but because you know verticals has that wheel route that's what you should know as a as a as a madden player like like and and if you don't know now you know so you're going to keep that guy on a deep a deep half over there and when they throw that verticals route if they try to fit it in towards the sideline, you want to be click on and try to make a play on it or hit stick the guy when he catches it. You're going to want to put this guy over here. You want to put this guy over here on either hook curl or you want to put him on a flat. You could put him on a flat right there or a, or a hook curl. I like hook curls just so they could so it could guard the post route a little bit better. So you put him right there. And then you're going to basically be usering with this guy right here. User with this guy. The best thing for you to user is gonna the best thing for you to use her is gonna be to use her um the flats when you see it um the reason why i don't man this guy up right here and then use her this you could do that as well like whatever is your preference if you want to man up that guy is because if the tight end does like a slant right if the tight end does like a slant he's gonna kill this guy right here he's gonna just kill him if he does a slant so what i like to do is just keep keep this guy right here just in case he does a slant so he so he so he has a bit more inside leverage on him and if this guy goes onto a flat i can go run to the flat real quickly and then run back up to the corner route like so that's what i like to do so let's set up let's set up offense right let's just just this is just will be like a kind of stock play right so let's set up my offense stock you know okay where am i going i'm going i'm going to the wheel and now that that would be like what it would be if the, if they if they just couldn't make a read. Now I'm gonna show it making a read, right? Because I'm gonna show my, I'm gonna man up this guy to that. My, I'm gonna put my user onto that running back as well because once, like I said, you saw what I just did. The instincts was okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. I was running with Edelman as well. Then I ran to the wheel route with a, to the running back because I know that's gonna get open, right? So that's that was my instinct. So I'm gonna show that simulated again. I can't really show it with another like you know what i'm saying with somebody else throwing so i'm gonna show it simulated me going to the over there right so we're gonna do that same thing put the running back on a wheel route and now we're gonna try to make the throw to the wheel route that that i said um is gonna be the popular bunch throw so now we're gonna do that let's do that same throw the popular bunch throw throw that right there and he still he still was able to catch it right but you still have a defender over there he was still able to catch it, but you still have a defender over there that if if I probably like can throw that, I could probably hit stick. You know what I'm saying? I could probably hit stick, and I still have a defender over there. We're going to show that again, right? But remember, you still have a defender over there, and that's what's going to happen. That's the that's the only thing you're going to be you're going to have to look out for. So, you can actually you can actually put this guy, you know what I'm saying? right here right because you can simulate you user in that right so i'm gonna simulate me user in that so i'm gonna keep him like right here i'm gonna simulate me user in that you can also use that if, if it's really killing you you can also use her that but it, it it shouldn't because you have that you have that deep half over there even though it even though it just toasted both of them but you, you're as your user is gonna be there your user is gonna be like it's not good you're not gonna follow him and get burnt like you're, you're gonna wait for him to cut up on his wheel bro you see how like that simulated like i'm gonna show you guys what i mean by that right i'm gonna show you guys what i mean by that right your user when they throw that when they when they go for their for their little route you're looking you're gonna go right here you know what i'm saying so they can't throw that like that's that's what you're gonna do but that deep half that deep half should play it right that deep half should play it when it gets over there because you can you know what I'm saying? You can click on when it gets to that throw and you can make a play on that ball, right? So that's that's what you're gonna be looking for. This is out of cover two man. Now for for um for defense for inside zone, right? For like trips tight end, if somebody comes out in inside zone. Also, these adjustments can be based out of cover two as well, which is like sometimes what I do, but for for like 
for cover two for if they come out and like runs like inside zone and stuff like that i like to come out like in bunch tight end or or trips tight end i like to come out and just cover three cover two tampa two just, just tampa two and what i like to do is i use this guy right now the gap is going to be the gap that you can shoot remember this is the run fit right this is the run fit right here it's your inside safeties and this guy is in the run fit and this guy's in the run fit right so that's that's the run fit right all of these guys so you keep this guy right here and you put him on a spy put that guy on a spy because what the spy is going to do is as soon as the ball is hiked instead of being occupying to a zone let's say he was in a zone or let's say he was blitzing he's going to come down you can, he's going to basically just start hovering towards this side right so if i miss my gap with this guy this guy's going to be like the backup right so you keep him right there you know how last year people used to keep him on top now you keep him right here right next to him and because also what the wide receiver number two on the trip side is trying to do is he's trying to cut me off and block me. So that's what you're going to do. You keep him right there. And then you can just crash your defense. to. You can crash your, um, you can, you can either don't crash or crash to the left. Right. And if you know the inside zone is going down and what that's going to do, I notice it's easier to shoot it when you don't crash. But sometimes if you do crash, if you miss the gap, your defense collides better towards the towards the ball the ball carrier that's what i noticed so they hike the ball it's you see how you see how i missed the gap but then that guy was there to to, to protect you know what i'm saying that's which now i'm gonna show you guys what happens when you don't crash right when you don't crash you can get a free gap shoot i'm gonna show you guys right here free gap shoot right there well I, I wasn't able to do it but i'm gonna show you guys what happens see what happens when you don't crash sometimes you can either get a free gap shoot with that guy or you can just, or you can't. So sometimes if you don't crash, you can get a free gap shoot, or you can't. That's that's what I, that's what I, that's what I've been noticing. So, nope. That's what happens when you don't crash. Now I'm gonna show you guys if you crash. If you crash right, crash left, and hike, boom. That's what happens when you crash left. Sometimes when you crash left, what what that guy will do, that left guard, you see, see what that left guard did? He just went to the to the DT, crash boom he went to the dt and basically what happened was he went to the dt and the the um the wide receiver went to me so when you crash left that's what happens crash your defensive line left that guy goes to the the, the guard goes to the dt and then the other guy goes to me that's what happens when you just crash left and you don't move this guy right so but it but but if you move him you're protecting him yourself right let me show you guys what happens when you move him if you move him, you're protecting yourself just in case you miss the gap right because sometimes you might miss the gap. So if you miss the gap, that that's what's happening. Now I'm shedding because I, I'm shedding a little bit better because I have my badge. But if you don't shed, then you're then they're gonna get breakaway. So if you just if you're just gonna trust your instincts to basically blow up inside zone, just crash right, and as soon as the ball's hiked, you just run down. And it, you run down. You beat that wide. You want to beat that wide receiver before he blocks you. So like I have two controllers, so I can't run down immediately off it's hiked. So if I can, boom, I'm running down. I'm just running straight down. Like, as soon as the ball is hiked, I'm focusing, locking in, locking in, locking in. The crash left, locking in, locking in, locking in, right? Boom. They hike. I know it's inside zone. I know it's inside zone. I, I know he's running inside zone. Like, he he got 10 rushes for 86 yards. He's running inside zone. So, I, okay, okay. I'm running. I'm, 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 I'm taking you. You know what I'm saying? That's what you that's what you got to get used to. And I have two controllers, so I can't properly, like, take the the good angle to get him but I, you see the gap is open there and you can you do this out of cover two i've tried it out of cover three and out of cover two man it's okay but it's better out of cover two so that's um decent run d versus here um i'll show you guys base versus unbunch just just so for you guys you know what i'm saying i'll show you guys base now with base you can stay on this receiver right and what you're gonna do? Put this guy in a three rack hook. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bluff, 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 bluff blitz, blitz him. So, so what he's gonna do off the snap is he gonna he's gonna basically turn this way and start heading over to his zone, right? So he's gonna start heading over to his zone, and you're basically gonna you're basically gonna come around here and basically look to look to shoot. You're gonna try to shoot through here, but if you see there's no there's no gap, you're just gonna come around and basically fill the hole. So base. You're gonna come around and you're just gonna fill the hole. That's what you want to do. You just want to come around and fill the hole. That's like you can't. I haven't really found the gap to shoot from from base. So what I do is I just come around and I just fill the hole. Like pause. But you know what I'm saying? I haven't really found the gap to shoot. But you keep that guy on a three red hook. You bluff blitz him, and that's a three receiver hook. That's one of the best zones in this game. 
uh, bonus for y'all guys that run 335. Um, so as base, you're just gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're just gonna do that same thing. They come, you just, you just come around and you just fill the gap. You know what I'm saying? They got yards right there, but that's all you want to do. You just want to fill the gap. Like with 335, there's not a lot of like gaps to shoot this year because it's harder to shoot the gaps this year. Like la last year, you could just sit in 335 because you could just shoot gaps all year, but it's a little bit harder. But yeah, that's a little defensive little mini scheme that I do. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty simple. Um, This is what I was running a little bit in weekend league. I was mainly running dollar. But uh, this is what I was running a little bit. I'll do a, um, I'm doing a 3-4 bear ebook tonight with the run D as well. So if you really want run D, that's what you're going to be in. So that's why. And I never went over the playbook. Giants playbook. <laughs> I did this again, yo. I keep doing this. People keep saying, yo, you never say the playbook. That's so fucking hilarious. All right. But Giants playbook. Um, Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Yeah, tonight. West Coast Part 2, 3 4 Bear Part 2. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'm out. Peace. And I almost did forget. Sorry about that. I know somebody said, like, um, can you go over, like, certain stuff for basically beginners? Like, like a more basic something. So if you want, like, a more basic setup, right? Like, something pretty basic, right? You can set your defense up like this, right? A basic cover 2, which would be 3 3 5 uh tampa 2 and, and you can put this guy the the slot receiver instead of blitzing the slot receiver right you put him on a three red hook now with that three red hook you put him on a bluff blitz so how do you put him on a bluff blitz you y press y quick adjust y again then l b then you right stick to the right now what that is going to do is that's going to put him on a three receiver hook the three receiver hook is supposed to basically play the middle of the field aggressively whatever route that attacks him it's supposed to match aggressively and Usually that's what it does. It'll like match a route that comes across the middle of the field and it'll play it aggressively or it'll play the, the middle aggressively, like underneath stuff like that. So you want to put that and you can use this middle guy or use one of these guys, right? Whatever is your preference, preference, put one of these guys in like a deep third. This is like a basic little defense. It's kind of, I did the same thing last year, a little basic defense for like beginners. And you do the same thing. You just crash up and guess the pass. So the base, so the setup will basically be Bluff blitz LB, put one of these inside linebackers into a middle third, crash the defensive line up, spread the defensive line, and guess the pass. And now I'll show you guys basically that. Um, that's it. And you would basically, they would have the flats, and you basically just go for the hit stick. Now I put it on the computer to, to basically make the pass. So you basically have something like that. And Something like that it was pretty will be pretty easy to like, you know what I'm saying? You're looking for it. You wanna they're probably gonna take the first read, which is gonna be the flat route to the tight end or the or because I what did I think I think I put it on corner strike. So I think the flat route to the running back is what their what their first read was gonna be. But if it, it's a bend on break re defense, you want them to take their first read. You want them to take that and you wanna tackle them, let them get their three, four yards. If they take three, four yards all the way up the field from the twenty five, you want you want them to have that. So just Buff blitz, put that guy in a buff blitz, put that guy in a deep third, and that's what you want to do. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to go guard that and see what else read he makes. All right, so he made that read. So you can, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can man, you can also man up the inside linebackers as well, but I know some of you guys don't want to man them up because it's too much, too much defensive adjustments. So you can just keep it, keep it simple, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. And if they do keep throwing to their running back and you don't want them to get their four yards, put something like that. And then now look at it. Everything is boxed. Okay, they have it all on that side. They got like eight yards, six to eight yards off of that. Something small like that, but you're not going to get beat with big chunk plays like this. So that's also that. I just want to go over that. For some of you guys, I know some of you guys said put something like simple um, and with not so adjust, not so much adjustments that you can make. So, yeah, this is simple, not so much adjustments, and thank you guys for watching the video. I'm out. Yeah, not to mention, right? Somebody said, do you have a really good pass defense? Um, okay, Henry, um, sub tips, Henry773 on Twitch. Um, go sub to him, right? And it's not even an ad. He ain't even, I don't even, like, I don't even know, dude. But go sub to him, his dollar defense, right? It's basically... 
this right you see my cover two kind of setup is basically slightly like that but on steroids right and i made sure i didn't like basically copy none of his stuff like it's you know what i'm saying i made sure i didn't copy any of his stuff and didn't go over like even though i could have but it's go cop his 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 um his sub, sub to him give sub tips it's basically this on steroids like this the cover two man stuff is, is good right here but his dollar cover one defense like his his defense that he runs on the stream his sub tips for it like what it, what his adjustments are is like this on steroids so yeah um that, he has a really good like it it, it was it was i i, I liked it I, I sub to it and i and I, um, I got the sub tips really good so yeah if anybody wants to get that and i don't recommend stuff like often to say like yo go buy that but yeah that, that yeah sub, sub to that dude <laughs> well yeah that's that's it i'm out peace